It is possible to do online education really well. It is not the second class citizen of theological education. On the contrary, the quality and the level of, of formation and community in a really good online degree program is just as good as residential learning. Spiritual formation needs to be very carefully planned and designed and implemented. Faculty have to have regular contact with students. Students have to have regular contact with each other. Ministry mentors have to have regular contact. So it's all this careful process of community forming, regular check-ins, thoughtful conversations. All of this comes together for spiritual formation. I believe Columbia needs to serve the church that actually exists. Every single congregation has persons with disabilities. There are not seminaries that take seriously this challenge of forming pastors to minister to congregations with this particular awareness and train future pastors to be able to minister to persons with disabilities and their families. We all know the statistics. The church is in decline. I believe that God is by no means done with the church and that God continues to call the church and call pastors to serve the church. One of the ways that the church can respond to decline is by planting new congregations, planting new churches in areas that are underserved. I want to work together with the faculty and the board of trustees and the staff to create learning programs to train, resource, connect, and encourage church planters. I am really compelled by our former president's commitment to a table of hospitality and inclusion, to a table of inclusion of racial ethnic identities, of global identities, of denominational identities, a whole diversity of approaches to faith and theology and church. I'm convinced that we must find ways to sit at table together and learn from one another. Change is always difficult. Many people experience change with a feeling of resistance, even fear. We need to be on the road to inclusion and diversity and racial reconciliation for the long haul. This is gonna be a long, patient conversation. But the only way we can begin is to begin. And that means committing ourselves to the conversations that need to take place and committing ourselves to the new practices of being of being church, of being seminary, we have to commit to those practices.